Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with a brand new disaster. Or I really shouldn't say brand new because it's actually an add-on to the last episode, which was the Great Clone War of the Grannies. By the way, if you missed that episode, I'm going to flash it in the top right corner. But yeah, you can see we finally built the granny cloning facility over here. Very proud of this building. We have a granny army that's actually marching down the street here. And they're facing everything that Tiny Town has to throw at him. So, you can see all the stuff that's coming from the zoo. Uh, you can see dinosaurs. You've got spiders. You've got zombies down here. But there's going to be one nemesis that might even scare Grandma. Now, last episode I teased this, and I showed it off just a bit. Let's go ahead and grab it real quick. I downloaded this robot right here. This thing is scary looking, which I thought maybe it was going to maybe fight on Granny's side, but I don't think it is. We're going to make this robot come from this new little town area, which I'm still looking for a name for it if you guys have any suggestions. But it's going to be coming from the underground, and it's going to be massive. It's going to be crashing through, basically taking out the city just by rising up from the ground. And we're going to do some Granny Army fighting it. And overall, I would like to fill in pretty much this area here today. So, if you guys have any suggestions for future Tiny Town episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying this series and this bonus episode here, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. You know, it almost feels like I can give this thing a hug here. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Let's make sure snapping is off because this thing is going to be coming out of the ground. Okay, let's go ahead and keep... Oh, no. That... Okay, that might have been too big. Hold on, let's go down. We'll pull it back out over here. Okay, so this thing's going to be rising up out of the ground. I got to be careful with it because it is a big object. I don't want to constantly grab it. Uh, you know what? It's going to be breaking through the road and the buildings here, so check that out. So let's put that up. Let's put it halfway in the ground. We'll have to make like a sinkhole around it. Uh, what does that look like coming up? Okay, you know what? That's a building. Uh, that doesn't look bad. I want it a little bit closer here. Let's go... There we go. I want both arms out. There we go. Uh, it's two up. I want it kind of sidestepping or leaning a little bit. There we go. That's looking mean. Okay, let me stick them a little closer, but I, I think I like that positioning somewhat. There we go. Look at that thing. Okay, to give you guys a little scaling as to how big this mech monster is, this is about where you would be standing. That thing's a monster. That is huge. That's awesome, too. All right, so we've got that. That's just one of the things. We're going to add some other enemies this episode uh, to continue this grand battle. But this is like one of the main focus points, I believe. All right, so you can see that I am hard at work on this city. So I think this actually turned out really good. Let's go ahead and get a little more detail here. So you can see the mech monster, which we need a name for this. I think, what was its name? It had a name of Megabot. You know, I actually kind of like that. It looks awesome. I picture there being like a rocket shooting out of this. So you can see it's rising up through the ground. It's just destroying buildings as it comes up. Uh, stuff's falling over. You can see buildings falling into other skyscrapers here. And I've actually really detailed this whole area. What you can see, I've added another block to the city over here. Uh, there's like a construction site. And we'll add some more detail to that here in a second. But you can see the smoke plumes coming up buildings falling over there's actual uh there's a bunch of debris under it and stuff and i think this looks really really awesome this is give you guys a uh, a big view of this how is grandma gonna take this thing down man you know what everybody's been talking about the mega granny i mean in theory we could do that we could have like a cloned granny that's just like the hulk too bad you couldn't change the colors of certain objects and maybe give her like a green hue and it could be hulk granny yeah, we're going to need some Avengers or something. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, that's a cool idea. Maybe we can get some Avengers in different poses. Uh, that'd be pretty awesome to have, too. But, nonetheless, that looks amazing. Of course, let me go ahead. Let's go over to the military pack here. I'm sure we have a missile that we can chunk in this thing. There we go. It's going to need to be big. It can either be that or like a beam. But I think uh, I actually like the idea of a missile more. Like a laser beam sounds pretty cool. But if you had a missile coming out of this thing, it would probably... I'm looking at the trajectory here. 
what could it be blowing up? You know, it could have blown this, the plane out of the sky, but maybe it's shooting at something else. There might be another, like, secondary granny force over here. I'll stick some more tanks, like, in a column or something. Uh, yeah, that would work. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go and add a little fire to this thing. You know, the grandmas might need a little bit of help from the normal military, even though I'm pretty sure they're really busy on the other side there. All right, folks, so I think we're ready to start with the face-off. So I've changed a couple things here. One big thing you're probably going to notice is the whole fact that we finally have a sports stadium here in Tiny Town. And we have a baseball stadium, which is really, really cool looking. And it is to scale of the people, which is pretty amazing. Now, it doesn't have all, like, the individual bleachers and stuff like that. But I do think it looks good over there uh, between the zoo and the main downtown area. Now, I did add another Granny Factory sign. We're going to say that's their corporate office uh, their evil I wouldn't say evil their secret offices are in the actual facility but they have a small office in the city and unfortunately it's got a building uh, impaling the side of it so about the big grandma thing that we were gonna do I think we're gonna place her right here she's gonna be going after Megabot over there which I'm still debating on that name that name sounds cool to me but maybe you guys can think of something better but yeah you can see the tanks over here the army's trying to plow into the city they're also Diverting over to the uh, the zoo disaster, but let's go ahead. We're gonna go into town here Let's get us a mega granny now. We got to do some things to mega granny I just don't want the default model here like I want to do some whoa geez That's a big granny. Oh, no, this is a uh, this is like the ultimate face-off. Okay uh, We sure we don't want to get some backup from Godzilla. He's kind of over there, too. This thing's probably as big as Megabot right now. Maybe a little bit smaller. Megabot's still quite a bit in the ground. But Granny, let's put her in an action pose real quick. So, she already looks kind of grumpy. Like, I'm pretty... Oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure there's some things that we can do to her face and stuff like that. But let me get her in a pose real quick. There she is. Okay, so now I can place... Okay, this is going to be a parking lot here uh, for the sports stadium. I need another building there to fill that out. Granny's coming in. We need to give her oversized weapons because obviously she's uh, like gonna have to have something to fight. I mean, she could probably grab Megabot and just rip him apart because that's how mean grandmas are at times. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and give her oversized weapons because why not? Do I have a big sword of some sort? I had the little sword I was using last episode. But I feel like maybe she should be using something else. Let me see if I got anything. Oh, are you kidding me? I forgot I had this. This is the Stormbreaker. This is Thor's hammer. I mean, you can't tell me you don't think Grandma could possibly pick that up. I know Thor's like one of the only people that can, but... Hold on, how does that look? Oh, no. I think Megabot's gonna have his face smashed in. Oh, let's make sure we get it right in her hands. Oh, it looks like she's actually holding it. Oh, that looks epic. She could probably take out a couple buildings, which I don't know how aware grandmas are. Are they actually trying to save people? Or they've got one mindset, and that's to destroy the enemy uh, at any means possible or any means uh, necessary. So, yeah, we'll have to see. All right, time to add some detail here. All right, so we've added more tanks. We've got a convoy here that's heading towards the, uh, the zoo area. Of course, you got the people running out of that. I kind of did a, a little bit of a parking lot for the sports stadium, which, what would Tiny Town, like, what would you name their baseball team? Uh, imagine they go through players quite often. That's probably why they keep losing. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure they win because nobody else wants to come to the city to actually deal with any of this. So, anyways, you got that. I actually added a little entrance to it. Uh, we can come over here. You see I've added a lot more vehicles here. Uh, we've got still Granny charging in. I need to add some Granny soldiers at the feet here. Actually, you know what? I think I want to add some more of those flamethrower grannies. Uh, those are pretty cool. Maybe some uh, air support here. So let's go ahead and go to airport. Uh, let's grab a couple things here. Let's see, what jets have I been using? I think it's these. It's a little different style here. So let's go ahead and put a couple of these in. They're uh, actually charging in at Megabot. You know, not every grandma's safe. I'll probably have to make one go down here and uh, maybe give him a little parachute because I, I still haven't used that parachute piece enough. Stick another one back here. These two are flying in together. There we go. That looks good. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and get some more granny soldiers. Now, if you don't know what I'm referring to, a couple episodes ago with the, uh, the zoo area... Oh, yeah, I have the battleship, too. Maybe we should make a body of water and they could be protecting the seas, making sure nothing gets off the island. 
That's a possibility. That's probably in the future, though. But yeah, I have a, uh, I have a jetpack and a flamethrower here that I need to pull out. Alright, so I have the jetpack, flamethrower. You know what I really wish we could do in Tiny Town? I really wish you could stick two objects together. So say we get this grandma, I'll stick the jetpack to her and the flamethrower. I wish you could save it like that. That way I can spawn in a lot of them. But we'll get a couple of them here. And they're coming in. Uh, maybe in like a little formation together. And they're coming to take out, or at least help with the, uh, the battle here. Uh, probably blow some of them flies out of the sky. There we go. Look at that. Those grannies look mad. You got the one with the flamethrower up there. That one's uh, carrying a minigun. This one over here has got like a submachine gun. This one's an RPG and a submachine gun in the other hand. Uh, they are, uh, they're brave. They're going right for it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't like this scene can get any more ridiculous. We got planes, we got army, we've got pretty much everything. I need to go in and add some more little details, uh, like city objects, people running, and stuff like that. But I think the bulk, like the main meat and potatoes, is done here. Uh, we need to just go in on detail work now. Alright, so you can see this area is filled in now. I've added trees, I've added tons of people. Uh, we've got some granny squads coming in. Come on, check these out. These people, like, I don't even know what they're doing. Like, they're coming in right to battle here. I might put a couple zombies here. Maybe that's what they're going to face off against. Because I'm pretty sure they can't do much about Megabot. Uh, of course, you got the big grandma. Look at the scale of that. That is awesome. So you got more coming down the street. People are running. Some people are still uh, doing the old shocked pose. And they're pointing at the, uh, the stuff they're seeing out of there. So, yeah, a lot of little detail here. Let's go ahead and finish this off. We're going to put some... Uh, I'm going to put a couple zombies out here, and, and the grannies, uh, they're going to be doing some work with the zombies, because that's what grannies do, apparently. Or clone grannies. I don't know. This is still a weird story. This whole thing's weird. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, I'm making a, uh, some VR gameplay about a video, or about a thing where we, uh, we make, like, Lego style. I want to call it, I always say Lego style, or like dioramas, I should say, where we have a clone granny army, and it's just a really, really obscure story. I don't even think I quite understand it. I'm going to cap this off with the spider over here. There we go. Stick it in the street. So you got zombies, you got a spider on the way. It is all sorts of chaos. So, if you guys have any suggestions for future updates here, let me know down in the comment section below. I don't think this battle is quite over because it is truly epic, especially if you look at it from back here. So let me know down in the comments section below uh, what we should add in any of these areas. Thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing on the Tiny Town series. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town. Thank you.